In this video, I'll show you how to set up your iPad Air from 2022, which is the fifth generation. We'll go through all the steps so you can set it up in just a few minutes and start using it. So once you took it out of the box, it's literally this screen which will appear. The first step is to swipe up from the bottom of the screen. And now you'll have to choose the language. So I'll select English since it's the first, but there's many, many other languages you can choose from. Tap on it. The second step is to choose your country, where you are in. Uh, I'm in Canada, so it's the first option here, but maybe the first option is not your country. Then you'll just have to scroll down and select in which country you are. So I'll go ahead and press on Canada. Now, if you have another iPad or iPhone, you just have to bring it closer and you'll be able to set your new iPad Air much quickly. But in this video, we'll set it up from scratch, okay? I'll make another video to set it up with your iPhone or another iPad, but in this case, let's do it manually. So you're gonna select set up manually right on the bottom here. Now, it will ask you to select your Wi-Fi network. So search in the list that is presented. Mine, whoops, sorry. Mine is this one. And you'll have to enter the password of your Wi-Fi. Once you enter the password, you'll have to press join here, or you can press join right on the top corner. It will take just a few seconds and the iPad will connect to the internet. Here we go, we have a check mark, this means that it's connected. You can now press the next button right there on the top right corner. You'll have this screen appearing, you just need to press continue. Now it will ask if you want to set up Touch ID, which means that you'll be able to unlock your new iPad using your fingerprint. The touch ID is right on the power button here. All you have to do is to keep it pressed many times. If you don't do it correctly, I just did the side of my finger, you'll have this message appearing and it will ask to do it again. So just tap the power button a few times. Okay. When you've done it a few times, it will show you that it's complete. You just need to press continue. And you'll need to do it again. So the same thing. Lift and rest the edge of your finger on top. Here we go. And when you're done, you'll have added with a check mark. Press continue. And now it will ask if you want to add another fingerprint. So you can add uh, another finger. Let's say I just want this one. So I'll press set later in settings. Now it will ask you to create a passcode for your iPad in case the fingerprint doesn't work. So let me create one. Let's say it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, if it's an easy password, it will tell you that it can be easily guessed but I'll use it anyway. Yours can be more complicated. Obviously, you don't have to choose the same one. Now, on the next step, it will tell you if you want to transfer apps and data from another iPad or iPhone. So let's say if you have an older iPad and you'll want to have the same apps or, you know, pictures, well, you'll be able to do it by selecting one of these options. But as I said in the beginning, I want to start fresh. So I'll select don't transfer apps and data. Here it will ask you to enter your Apple ID. So it's uh, the email associated with your account right here. So I'll do this. Just need to tap here and enter the email. Once you're done, you just have to press the next button on the top right corner. 
and now it will ask for the password of your Apple ID. Once you're done entering your Apple ID password, again, you're going to press the next button. Now, if you have an iPhone, iPad or another iOS uh, running with your Apple ID, it will send a code to that device. OK, so. So right now I'm looking here and on my Mac mini, I have a code that I'll have to enter right here. OK, so it's a six digit code. OK, I have entered the code and it has accepted and now the terms and conditions are presented to me. You can read them if you want. Once you're done, press the agree button right on the bottom here. And as it says here, it can take a few minutes or a few seconds to set this up. You just have to wait. Here, you just have to press the continue button. On this page, it will show you which credit card uh, you have on your Apple account. And if you want to add it, then press continue. But for the moment, I don't want to set this up. So I'll just press set up later in settings since I don't want this credit card to be linked to this iPad. So it's the last option here. On this page, it will ask you if you want to use iCloud Keychain, which means that it will automatically save and sync the passwords of your apps and website through all your Apple devices. So if you already entered your passwords for, let's say, certain websites on your iPhone, well, you'll have them on this iPad and you won't have to search them every time. If you want to do so, you just press continue. If you don't want to use this service or you want to set it up later, just press don't use iCloud keychain. And this is what I'll select. Next, it will tell you if you want to set up Siri on your iPad. If you want, it's a voice assistant. This is up to you. You can press continue. But in my case, I don't want Siri. I don't want to ask anything. So I'll just press set up later in settings, the last option. Here it will ask you if you want to share uh, the analytics with Apple. Um, I don't want to share my details, so I will just press the last option here. Don't share. It's up to you, by the way. And finally, you get this page. This means that everything is completed. All you have to do is to press the blue button here and voila, you're now on the home page of your iPad and you can start using it, using all the apps, all the new features right away. So as we see, it just took a few minutes. I hope this was useful. Please subscribe, leave a like and even leave a comment if this was useful for you. See you in the next one.